It's time for spare change, a roundup of the stories that are worth talking about. Fox News legal analyst Arthur Idala is here, and business strategist Carol Roth will both help me sort through these stories today. First up, Ponzi schemer Alan Stanford sentenced to 110 years in prison for the theft of $7 billion. From investors Raja Gupta, he's facing 105 years in prison on fraud charges. I mean, these guys are getting some serious time. What do you think? They deserve it? And you corrected me. You know, we don't know what Raj Gupta is getting yet. because No, he's, he's, he may not get nothing. Yeah. Right. He, I mean, his the, the closing arguments, I believe, were on Tuesday. Right. And basically, on that case, the, pros, the, the prosecution put in a lot of evidence. And what the defense said in their closing arguments is... You keep, they're making something out of nothing. There's yeah. nothing here. All the thing they showed you was that they spoke, uh, Gupta spoke to Raj, and right. they never were able to prove what the substance of the conversations are. So are they able to say this was the, he's the one who provided the insider information? Okay, so, so you want to give him a free ride. I, I got that one. But uh, Alan Stanford, I mean, he got, years, he got hosed. He doesn't right? beat Madoff's record, but, though. But in both of these cases, you're talking about people with lots and lots of money, or at least at one point. The part that kills me is why are we paying for them? We're going to have to pay for their shelter and their food and their supervision. Can't okay. we just go back to like the scarlet letter where we put fraudster on their <laughs> head and stone them in the middle of Times Square? I feel like that would be a much well, better like option. Stone Stan just stone Stanford it? went through seven, he stole seven billion dollars. He had to have a public defender. He couldn't yeah. afford a lawyer. That's what well, you really Where'd all that money, money go? go? Yeah. Somewhere in England. I'll tell you one thing, though. If, if Raja Gupta ends up being convicted, the yeah. first thing he will get is a Martha Stewart issued prison jumpsuit because <laughs> I think that was her last license. Oh, gosh. All right. All right. Next one HBO's wildly popular fantasy epic Game of Thrones. I don't know. Do you watch it? It's coming under fire today. One of the series' most gruesome scenes shows several heads impaled on pikes outside a castle. It's nice. Does this head look familiar? Look close, look close. It is a mold of the head of our former president, George W. Bush. Subtle political message or dumb mistake? What do you think, Carol? This is the funniest part about it for me. You've got incest, you've got misogyny, you've got S and M going on in the show, and really? everybody. I can't believe I missed this show. No, you're, you're, you're missing. I mean, this is the wow. craziest show out there, and there's like a point three second clip of a Halloween mask of George Bush wearing head, hair like mine. You barely even see it. If you're going to be outraged about something, it's not that. It's that everything else that's going on in that show, Melissa. But what's really funny about it, though, is that originally. Originally, you know, they said, oh, yeah, we just bought a whole bunch of heads and masks from some company and they threw these in, you know, and we had nothing to do with it. And then they come back with these statements, you know, we can't afford to have these all made from scratch. We rent them in bulk. We meant no disrespect. So they're apologizing. Yeah. They admit it. What and, do you and, think? And, uh, uh, how hard is. is that? We meant no disrespect. Right. The, the guy is the president of the United States. You got his severed head on a stick. <laughs> I mean, it was dumb, 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 stupid. They're not going to get in any legal trouble for it, but it should not have been done. And they're, There's they're, no way it was an accident. I mean, no if way. people saw it out there, they should have either taken it out or should have taken it, it out. Own it. Say, yes, it was yeah, a political message. But don't you think that George Bush should use this as like a PR maneuver and try and get his SAG card or something out of it? Okay. <laughs> That's not bad. I like that. All right. Next up, Timothy Yost, a homeless man from Texas, finds a bag filled with $77,000 in cash and gold coins at a local park after months of pressuring city council. He was finally told that he could keep the cash, but here's the question. Why wouldn't he be able to keep it? I mean, finders keepers, right? Here was his mistake, though. The money was wet because I guess it was in the river, so he goes to a bank to exchange it for dry money. That's how he got nabbed in the first they place. They assumed it was stolen. I, I, yeah. I don't. I, however, he was dressed, however he conducted himself. Yeah. So the tele calls nine one one. The cops come and they say, "Where'd you get this not, from?" Not a great yeah. picture. So there you go. Yeah. So the, so the cops come and say, "Where'd you get this money from?" He says, "They found it," and they went and looked to fire for the rightful owner. They couldn't find the rightful owner. They give it back to the city, and the city voted to give it to him, and he's in jail now for public intoxication. <laughs> well, if you waited that long to get $77,000, I would be sure I get hammered. It's, it's because, I'll tell you why. It's because somebody told him to keep the money liquid, and then he hired Jack Daniels <laughs> and Captain Morgan to be his financial advisor. What about Johnny Black? A, yeah, no, look, right. you've, got, you've got to root for this guy. The one thing yeah. is you have to have a behavioral change because there's a reason he's in the situation that he's in now. And if you think about lottery winners, they always blow through yeah. their winnings. So I want someone from the community to step up here and help him to spend this money so he can 
turn. He's getting are a you, car. Are you rolling your eyes over he's, there? He's getting, he's, he's getting, oh, he said he's been walking his whole life. The first thing he wants to do is get a car. A so depreciating he asset. He will, <laughs> blow, he, will, he will blow through this money in no time. But poor guy. That's I mean, all right. Good for him. Finders keepers, he had it. They kept it all this time. I mean, if he had like, better yeah. representation, would he have gotten it quicker? Yes, he should have hired the law office. <laughs> 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 they took the vote of the city council to release the money to him. And luckily, they did the right thing because in these economic times, I'm sure the city council would have liked that $70,000. <laughs> That's right. Office. They were trying to figure out how to keep it. I wonder how much of it he has left now. I don't know. Guys, thanks for coming on. Thank we appreciate you. Thank you. You'll have to come back. Coming up, foreign money is flooding into the U.S.